Yo, what up everyone? Mappy Wellis, we're Ellis Incorporated, up at my grandma's house, just hanging out. I'm about to show you what I'm doing up here. Ooh, look at that right there. Ooh, that's what we're up here for, to shoot a gun. My AR, and I'll tell you why. You haven't seen the last couple videos. Beautiful. All right. Yo, what up, everyone? I'm just having fun. I'm about to shoot my AR, and I will tell you the reason why, and I will bring you a little closer because I am, I love shooting guns. I am happy shooting guns. I don't like killing animals. I don't like killing people. I don't like hurting anyone or anything. But if you can't see this bad at, if you can't see my AR, if you haven't seen the last cup, the last video where I had addition a uh, grip to it, right? So I addition a bipod. So I went down to Seneca Guns and bought it. Bought it on my lunch break and had it put on and it was a little pretty badass. Badass. I would like to get a new scope. Though that's another another thing I would like to do. Comment down below what kind of scope you think you would like to see on here. We have bullets, my cell phone, head muffs, Arizona eight Arizona Arizona T energy. All right, let's get shooting this. Because I want to kind of check on how it, it feels with the bipod and everyone. And to tell the difference to shooting it with the grip and holding it to having it down or laying down on the ground and shit for targets and stuff like that. So, so I could flip these up. And I can shoot down the range like that. But today I'm going to use the bipod. So I'm going to put like three, four, I'm going to put four bullets in. And I'm going to shoot four bullets for you guys and see what goes on. Pretty decent to set it down like that on a stand. One, two, three, four. Actually, I want to get my head muffs on so my ears are protected when I'm shooting this high powerful gun caliber. And I'm going to load my four bullets real quick. Alright. There we go. Hammer. I'm going to drop the hammer. Bullets loaded. It's ready to fire. I just want to see if you guys are in a good angle to see me shoot it. Alright kind of want to pick you guys up and put you right here about and because I stand over here my stance and stuff let's get you in a little closer because we're gonna shoot down the range way down there if you can't see the like but well here let me move the gun If you can see way down there. There it was a yellow target, but I've I've hit it with different small calibers. I would like to hit it with that the AR and stuff. On camera. I can tell you I shoot my guns off camera too, everyone. So let's bring it back and let's go ahead and shoot these four bullets down the range. See if we can hit anything. Kind of 
want to get you guys to see what I, where my hand is. Yeah, right there. That'll be looking good. So I'm going to put my hand here and put my eye. And I'm going to try hitting the metal target if I can. If not, it's whatever. Alright, now I want to kind of point you guys a little bit down range. Because I don't think I'm going to hit the target at all with this scope. Because it's not really, in general, it's not really meant for down, like, really far range. That's why I want to get different Tell scopes and stuff to check them out. Tell them iron sights. It's iron sights. Uh, yeah, it's iron sights. So, no my brother Henry's up here in the background. I just want to let you guys know that what I have on there is iron sights and stuff, but I want to get better ones. You're going to get a scope for it. Alright, everyone. I'm going to try. Alright everyone, I'm going to find those four bullets real quick while you guys kind of look at the gun and stuff. And then comment down below if you like my AR. Right. You going to go look at it? We'll take a try. My son will be out there. <laughs> God damn. There's more over here. Yeah, I know. I just want to try finding the last one I shot. Alright guys, you guys gonna help me out? Can you guys help me out? <laughs> We're gonna see if you guys can see it or not. Alright. Because these 5.6 millimeter rounds they do fly back. That's why we kind of designed this to kind of take a little bit of the penetration rounds away from it so that I don't lose as many shells. But well, we got 9mm bullets up here. They shoot not not this one, but I have a 9mm. There's three of the rounds. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Alright, there you go. There's the three. Kind of looking around for the fourth one still. But, here, let's show Henry. There's Henry right there. <laughs> yep, alright, everyone. I definitely didn't hit it on camera for sure. Because you would hear the ting, and I definitely don't think I got the ting. Like I really wanted to. We'll walk down there. I want to show you guys what I was trying to shoot at down the range. All right. Real deep, right here, guys. <laughs> this is what I was trying to shoot at, but I didn't get any. These two right here. One, two, are 5.5 millimeter rounds shot off camera. Everything else is like 17 MMR, close to be a 9 millimeter, or a, 22. or a 22 hitting this thing right now. But, and plus the 5.6. I have FMJ rounds. Fun. Count it. <laughs> put chains on there. Co comment down below if you would like to see hit one of these plates with an FMJ round. With a different scope, though. <laughs> We're not going to waste. We're not going to waste ammo. You almost shot the fucking thing off twice, somebody. <laughs> Everyone, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Comment down below. <laughs> Give me a minute.
Hey everyone, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Matthew Ellis on YouTube. Look at me on my Facebook, look at me on my Instagram, look at me on my Snapchat. Everyone have a great day and a great night. Comment down below if you like that. They are like me.